and welcome. My name is Sandra. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am switching over my compact Franklin Covey binder. So this is my, I want to call it my everyday carry, but obviously I don't, I don't use this planner every day. Sometimes if I'm out, I will use it. Um, I always take it with me to karaoke because I'm just that girl. I write down my songs and I make notes for the next day to transfer to my main planner. But my classic is the one that I use every day. So when I say everyday carry, I guess it doesn't really make a lot of sense. This is my compact binder that I take with me in my purse if I know that I need a planner with me, but I'm not... Um, I don't want to take my heavy duty binder. So um, first of all, I wanted to mention um, the person that sent me this binder, I, I did not purchase this binder. So not many, many, many years ago, no, not that many years ago, when I first started getting into Franklin Planner, Franklin Covey Planning System, I saw this binder on the website. I purchased the, the um, classic size. I do have the classic, and I wanted to get the compact so bad. And at the time I just didn't have enough money, so I didn't bother. And then it was gone, it was sold out, and I was devastated, okay? I have been looking for this planner for such a long time, probably for three years, three or four years, maybe three years, because I think that's when I started. And uh, I kept putting messages out on the Facebook buy and sell, and nobody responded. So uh, finally, one sweet, lovely lady, reached out to me on Instagram and told me that she had this binder and that she wanted to send it to me. So you know who you are. You're going to watch this video. I appreciate that, the thought and the action so, so much. You have no idea. Maybe you do because I couldn't stop saying thank you, <laughs> but I am so grateful. And, and she sent it to me free. Like she didn't charge me or anything. And I just, I can't believe that, that there's that kind of kindness in the world. So I just wanted to say thank you again. And um, I'm like to get this binder that I have been searching for forever. I am in love with it. To me, it screams spring. Like this is the binder. A lot of times when it comes time for March, I think there's one year I used my classic size for March and because uh, March is my favorite month and this binder, I just love it. I love it. I, I don't know what it is, but there's something about it that I'm just obsessed with. Okay. I love the little hearts. Um, and I do have um, both of my, the vintage drawers that like the last set that were released, the, um, the Blue Mirage and the Purple Plumeria. I have those in compact as well. Plus I do have my Pale Pink Anna. But like when I'm carrying this in my purse, I don't want my nice leather binders to get banged up. So I like these ones because I feel like they're a bit more sturdy. Um, and, and I mean, they're not like a leather planner is always more sturdy, but these ones, I'm not as afraid of like, if they were to get scratched or something were to happen, I'm, I'm not as like terrified. Right. So well, I do still switch out of these and go into my vintage Auroras. I, um, I do like these ones as well. And there's something about them. I don't know why. Um, same thing with this. I reached out and found somebody on Facebook buy and sell, and I actually purchased it from her. And again, I'm grateful for, for both of these binders and both of the women who I got them from. So thank you so much again. Um, but what we're going to do is transfer my stuff from in here to in here we're going to set up for merch and uh, i don't really have like a planner um uh system i guess like a planner system i have lots of planner systems i don't have a planner task list to follow for my compact so i just kind of go with the flow and i do what i want um also the things that came in here were um this the the person that sent me these gave me a whole bunch of inserts to go with which is super cool so i wondered if i should switch to these dividers like aren't they so cute like these ones are all just pockets so you can put things like receipts and stuff which come in handy right because you're you're um out and about and stuff and and there's actually three sets of dividers so there are only four dividers in these sets but i mean that's three sets of dividers so I don't know if that came as one set or, um, or what, but those are so cute and I don't really want to use them. 
<laughs> but it, it's really nice because you actually have like this list of what they are, right? So you've got four times three, so you've got 12 dividers, but this is only 10, so I don't know what that's all about. Um, but I love this. I've got these pockets, I've got the dividers, um, I've got this notepad. I already had one of these. I, th I had this in classic. I don't know if I have it in compact. Let's see. I know I have some note paper. I've got a whole bunch of the task cards for compact. I have this one. And then I also have like, I have got lots of supplies for compact. I love compact, but because it's a spring binder, I'm going to put some note paper in here that kind of goes with. We're going to switch things up. And I'm hoping, I, I already did my um, my weekly plan with me and my classics. So I'm hoping that my kids don't wake up until I'm done. But I've got a whole bunch of goodies here. This is all the stuff for my compact. I've got cutaway notes. I've got my weekly compass. I've got a whole bunch of um, note paper from her point of view, like lots. And then I also have all of my... Um, I've got lots of note paper. Holy! So these are all of my dashboards that I would potentially use. So everything I've made some of my own. Made a Christmas one. I've made um, some fall ones. I've used Sterling Ink. I've used Jane's Agenda. Like, isn't that so cute? So many things I've used. Um, um, Simply Gilded. But I wouldn't mind. Maybe that's what I should do: is take some of the the items from Jane's Agenda. I don't often cut anything from Jane's Agenda because I like using it in my classic or my my work planner. But there's a few things I could probably cut up, and it would be fine, and I wouldn't be I wouldn't be sad about it. So I don't know if I want to do the blueberry one or if I want to stick with like pink or neutrals. Even one thing that I'm obsessed with is this right here. So this is from like this is one of those cards that you can get from i think this is once more with love yeah i think so but i just i like putting like something like that on top of it and that looks kind of spring too and it's so cute i love it so i don't know i could do i could do all sorts of things but I love putting card holders in my planner because I every time I take this little guy out, I always have lots of my business cards and that's where I hand out my business cards from. So people will be like, oh, like, you know, like they'll comment to my makeup or they'll comment to my planner. And then I'm like, well, you know, I have my own business. Here you go. Here's a card. So, yeah, I don't know. But this this would really go with this planner. This one's so cute. I have tons of things and I haven't even like gone into everything. So... The only thing is, these are the original rings. I think they're one inch. Oh, and like, I also have, yeah, I've got this notepad. Where is it? Yeah, this notepad, it's got, it actually came with this binder release. So it's got the same color of plaid on the back, which I just, I'm obsessed with that pattern. Yeah, this whole notepad is that paper. And I've got a whole pack of these, so you'll notice that my new ones, let me see where they are. This is actually quite funny because my new ones, I've got three different sets and they're all a different shade. So these are gray with light gray trim. These are blue with light gray trim. And then these are blue with even lighter gray. Like it's funny, there's like three different, Franklin Covey came out with three different like designs. <laughs> so they must've been purchased all at different times. Um, okay. Right now, I don't really need those. So I think what I want to do, I don't know if I want to keep these rings in here. I don't think I need like a super fat, chunky compact binder because the heavier it is, it kind of defeats the purpose. My karaoke cards. <laughs> okay, so I really like this setup that I have too. It's like really cute. But we're going to transfer it over. Maybe I'll just keep my clear dividers right now because I think they're so cute. Um, and I'm wondering if I should switch my discs. I think I'm, or my, my discs, my rings. I think I'm going to. Just bear with me. All right, so rings are done. And I'm going to put this marker in here. It's a light blue one. It doesn't go with the teal, but it it's lighter than the teal 
um, zebra mild liner and I do like to have a highlighter in here because I do highlight stuff so I'm gonna put this guy away I don't think I have anything in the back pocket oh I love this binder like every time I use it I'm just like yes I love it and the poor thing already has a little scratch I, I do I don't abuse my planners um, but I do use them. I'm not sure about the designs yet, but we'll just put in the dividers and the guts of the planner. I'll switch out February from March. So the first one is schedule, but I will put these aside because I don't think I want to use these. Um, and then, so what I had in here, this is what I have, okay? I have, a whole year's worth of insert monthlies. I'm going to take that out. And then I've got just the one month, like the current month of dailies. So I'm going to move February to the back, pull out the dailies for February because we're done. Like today's the 29th and I don't need them for today. And then we have March at the front. So then I'll put everything in my planner. Um, or let's start with March here. So I'll have March, the monthly, and then I'll pull the dailies. I just have them in this adorable, cute little binder here. Find all of March. And I'll probably just pop February right back in there. So I put in the dailies here. And then I put the rest of the months. Okay, and so I always keep the last month that I use will always be at the back. So um, this set of inserts I purchased last July. So this one goes from July to June. So as of June, I'll have to purchase new inserts for my compact. But I have been really loving the her point of view. They're so cute. Okay, so I'm just going to put the dailies back. Where did I put those dailies? Where did they go? No, I can't find them. <laughs> I don't think I have two of them in here. Or do I? Let's see. Nope. Just March. Okay, well, anyway, I'll find them later. Okay, so next I have an inbox. So this fits in the, like in the schedule still, because I just didn't have a different place to put it. That's from cloth and paper. Okay, the next divider is called list. So anything that I want to make a list, it goes in here. And this is the, um, oops, the, the thing that I had in here. I'm going to switch the paper too. I'm not liking that paper. This one's so pretty. I might keep this one. Maybe. I'll put it aside for now. I want definitely want different paper because I just had this plain stuff. I want different paper. Okay, the next one is projects. And I'm pretty sure I had project insert. Oh, maybe not. But I do have something I'm going to print off. I have, um, maybe what I'll do is link it later in the video, but I'm going to go to my Etsy shop and I think, or not my Etsy shop, I was purchasing something on Etsy for my compact, so I might print them off. I've got some gold stuff and I've also got some project inserts. And then I'll leave the Etsy link below if you're interested in those. Okay, so finances. So I do have like an expense sheet in here. So if I'm out, I just keep one at a time. And then if this were to fill up, I would, um, if it were to fill up, I would get a new one. It's a purchase tracker from Cloth and Paper. And it's perfect because you just write down how much you spent and then you can keep your receipts in the pocket. Okay, and then I have my little Coco die cut sticker here. This is goals and ideas at the very back. And that's it. I think. Isn't there one more tab? Hold on. I feel like there should be one more tab. So I printed off goal inserts from Jane's Agenda and I'm not loving these. My printer wasn't working that well and while I do like the concept of these, I just they they weren't they were um they were too big. And I cut them down to size and they're they're still they're still not great. I don't like that. So these are project, well, it's like technically note paper, but 
it's like project note paper. So I'll put this under project. These are also project note papers from Jane's Agenda, which I also had to cut down to size. And then these are the compass cards, which would go under goals. So I'll put this under goals and then projects until I print something different. I'll leave it in here, I guess. Oops, wrong tab. That is projects. Okay, these go under goals. These go under project. I think I'm just going to keep this project paper in here because it looks prettier. And then goals. I'm just going to have to print something off because, yeah, this kind of bugs me. I don't like this project paper. Well, that project paper and even these goal worksheets. And I'm not going to keep any compass cards in here right now, I don't think. Or do I want to? No, I think I'm going to use a task card. Okay, I'll tell you what. I'll use these goal sheets until I find something different. Okay. So now the Franklin Covey, the on two page, that's so the size I get. This is personal size. It's not, not personal wide. It's like, well, Franklin Covey compact size is what it officially is called. The dividers are personal wide. So I prefer personal wide in here, but if you do have personal wide, a lot of times like it'll interfere with the pen flap here because the dividers kind of pop out a bit. So just so you are aware of that. Okay. Um, so now we've got everything in there. I need to have some kind of decoration going on. And I think I just need to organize, but I think I'm going to go back to that thing I had from Once More With Love. Oh, and we're missing the miscellaneous divider back here. So miscellaneous. And then I know I had like a page protector at the very back. I had all my note paper and then I had business cards. But I'm pretty sure I have like this... Um, this clear page protector. So I'm going to go try finding that and then I'll put some sticky notes on the back of it. Okay, lists, we're going to put some paper in here. I've been loving this paper from S&M Plans. So this is, these ones are basically all the same, um, but I printed this. It is again, personal size. I think I need to do some organization here of my inserts. I'm going to go through my, my uh, dashboards here quick and just see which ones I'm absolutely not loving for spring and which ones are actually okay. And I feel like I need a folder in here too, just to like, if I wanted to put some envelopes or receipts or something, maybe this one because it matches the planner. And at the very front, I think that I want this one because I think this is so cute. Okay, I'm going to put these ones in here. These are from, again, S&M Plans. And I'm going to put that under lists. Okay, and under miscellaneous, I'm going to put some note paper as well. Um, I think what we'll do is put um, the Her Point of View note paper. Just a little bit because I don't need like a whole bunch. Okay, and now I have to figure out which dashboards I want. I'm going to use this as the back page protector. It's like, I don't know if it was made for this or not, but I'm going to use that to protect the back. Okay, so I really like this one for spring. And I also like this, the architect of these that haven't happened yet. That's from Cloth and Paper. Fortune favors the bold is nice. And I'm also obsessed with this, but it's a little dark right now. So I think that one I'll leave out, but I do like this one. So this is cloth and paper. There's luxury and simplicity, um, but the sparkles over top that. Anything sparkly, I'm obsessed. Um, and sometimes flowers are nice. I got this from Heather B. Co, and I love that for summer, like the green one here. Palm trees. And then also this one too. It's like, I'm kind of pissed that I'm not a mermaid. <laughs> okay. 
And actually, this is a really nice one, too. This is also Heather Bico. So maybe I'll put that one in for now. And I do really like the swallows or the birds with this um, really light pink one with the bows. So I think I'll do one of those as well. I don't know if I need more than that. And who knows, I might change things up because if I do cut down some of the Jane's Agenda stuff to size, maybe I will go with that instead. And I also really do like this as well. So like it's over top. I like the swallow one. I like that one. Anything that's like pink and flowery. But I'll see because maybe I'll switch things up with the Jane's Agenda stuff. Even this motif one from Cloth and Paper kind of goes with this binder. So let's see. Let's see how many I have or how many I need. So at the very back of it, right behind the cards, I'm going to put this thing. And then I might put these little notes on the back I don't need or maybe on the front these technically belong on the inbox but I'll put them back here that's not a terrible spot for them and then the same thing with these and then I don't think I need these guys this is a little pocket but I can take the stickers out and then maybe just put in um, some different types of stickers because these I think these are beige or they're grayish or something okay so that is done and then we go to the front so I have this pretty one on the very front which I, I really love that so we need one for um, for the schedule and I can pick which one I want and I think I think I want this that'll be for schedule for lists maybe we'll do the swallow one with the pink on it it's pretty projects I'm going to do the B <laughs> is he like a B um, finances I always like this one and this the paper on this feels so silky smooth it's really weird it's fa fa fortune favors the bold and I'll put some type of thing on there <laughs> maybe this one here um, for goals and ideas architect of my this uh, days that haven't happened yet maybe that one looks kind of cool and then the last one is miscellaneous. We will put the motif one, I think. Okay, I also like this. But that's always, that's a little busy. As you think, so it shall be. That doesn't look very good. But I also like that too. It's just kind of plain and simple. I think we'll just stick with this one for now. For the motif. This paper is also kind of silky smooth. It's weird. All right, so that's it for that um, these are all the dashboards so I'm what I'm gonna do is take time after and just organize all my dashboards and all of so what I do is I put the accessories together so these would be accessories um, or the labels I put the dashboards together and I put all the note paper together and then any special inserts like the goals or the projects so I'll take care of that after I still didn't find my um, my day on or did I put them in here already? I don't even know. Did I? <laughs> Let's see. I don't think I put them away. I've got January, so I have no idea what happened to my February inserts. Hmm. They have disappeared. I'm sure I'll find them. <laughs> it's kind of weird. I feel like they're here because I feel like this is so like a lot of inserts but this is just March 
And those are just the monthlies. It's kind of weird. Anyway, I have no idea what happened to it. So I'm wondering if I should just use one of these guys. And then I always go to the beginning of the month. And I just put this like wherever day I'm on. I'll put it on the first. I'd put it right here. Or I could continue using this. Um, I think what I'll do, I'll do this later because I it's basically copying um, from my my classic, but I will fill out the calendar with you guys quickly. So we'll just quickly speed that part up and I'll show you how I fill out my compact calendar. It's a little bit different than how I fill out my, um, where did it go? A little bit different than how I fill out my classic, so I'll show you how I do that. So I, I keep it simple in here because I want to be able to glance at it. And if I have like an appointment or something that comes up, um, sometimes I'll use a sticker. Um, I've got like little round dots, but these um, clean color dot markers work amazing. And if I have to move something around, I just use white out. I don't care. Um, so anyway, so that's how I do the month, the month calendar. Um, I don't put work stuff on here because I'm just referencing, like my, my work stuff really can be moved around. So um, if I had to make an important doctor's appointment, I would, and like I kind of know what my themes are every day anyway, so I know what needs to be done. Um, usually Mondays and Tuesdays are pretty open and flexible, even Thursday, Fridays, because most of my work is done in the morning when before my kids wake up anyway. Um, okay, so now I'm going to quickly write this list out. I'm just going to copy it from my classic All right, guys, so I'm all done. So I just put everything on the list that I had for my comp, my classic. I'm just going to pop this right back. And I'm not going to do um, a weekly compass card right now, but I will keep this in there. So it's just there ready for tomorrow to start. Um, tomorrow's going to be a busy day for me because I have analytics and stuff and my budget closed. So I could add that here. Okay, so I don't know exactly what's going on this weekend, but I mean, date night makeup just in case. And I can always cross it out if it doesn't happen, or I can say it's canceled. Um, so that is it for this planner setup. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I'm obsessed with that. <laughs> so cute. And I don't know if this planner charm, let's see, this one doesn't have that much color. It's got like a gold moon, a black moon, and then a pink planet. So I'll keep this on here for now, but uh, I might change it to a spring charm pretty soon. But I'll keep it. It's gold. It matches with the gold rings and the gold hardware. And that's it. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Please be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you're new, please subscribe. Even if you're not new and you just haven't subscribed, please join us. It would be so much fun. And trust me, you'll learn a lot and I'll also learn a lot. <laughs> and click on the bell button to be notified when I upload new videos. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.